136. Can a molecule with an even number of electrons ever be paramagnetic? Explain why or why not. Okay, so the answer lies in what is basically the definition of being paramagnetic. Now, we're talking about electrons here, so paramagnetic definitely has to do with something about electrons. Now, when a molecule is paramagnetic, this just means that your orbitals, your molecular orbitals, so molecular orbitals are not all filled. And another way to say that something is not all filled is that they are not all paired. So there are um, basically paramagnetic and diamagnetic that has to do with electron configuration, which you might have seen earlier in your class. Uh, same thing goes with molecules. The only difference is that when we're talking about molecules, we're talking about the total of electrons between two atoms that came together to make like, a, you know, a, a molecule. So like H2 would be a molecule. Two hydrogens came together to form the molecule H2, right? Now, the, the criteria here is that we just have to have an even number of electrons, and the even number of electrons is two, four, six, eight, and 10 electrons. Now, let's just say that we're talking about orbitals, right? And molecular orbitals, it really doesn't matter how we draw them, right? But let's just say that we have a total of, I don't know, four or actually two molecular orbitals, I guess. Actually, I guess we'll do maybe, maybe we'll do, I don't know. Let's just say four atomic or, uh, molecular orbitals, right? Now, don't worry about why I stacked these as, as well. That's not really for this uh, question. But just know that as you go higher and higher with your molecular orbitals, you're gaining energy. So technically, your molecular orbital that's at the highest of the list, that's the most energy molecular orbital. And the one down below is the least energy, so like least stable. But now, all we have to do is just talk about even number of electrons. Now, let's just say that you have a total of four molecular orbitals, and I'll just say that MO, right, MO. Now, if it's paramagnetic, all those molecular orbitals, they can't all be filled. They can't all be paired. So meaning that if I have two electrons per each molecular orbital, right, and all of these are, are filled, this would be classified as dimagnetic, not para. But if I just throw one off, boom, now I'm not paired, right? That's the difference between diamagnetic and paramagnetic. Paramagnetic, anything goes just as long as you don't have that last pairing. But this would be diamagnetic, right? I could say that this is diamagnetic, uh, sorry, not diamagnetic, I meant paramagnetic. So this is paramagnetic because they're not all filled. I got three spots hanging. This is paramagnetic. This could be paramagnetic and it, it keeps going on and on until the last pairing. Then you would be classified as diamagnetic. So can an odd number be paramagnetic? Well, in this case, I got nine electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just kidding, I have seven. Can I count? Can, can Christina count? No, <laughs> but anyway. But now what happens if I just take the last one off? How many electrons do I have? Oh, I have six, two, four, six. That's an even number, and this would be classified as paramagnetic. If I took two off, that's four. That's an even number, right? That's paramagnetic. If I took two off, that's two. That's an even number of electrons. That's paramagnetic. So the answer is yes. It could be classified as paramagnetic. For even number of electrons, you could actually have paramagnetic and diamagnetic, depending. So explain why or why not. Basically, you're just you know talking about how the number of molecular orbitals are not filled, but you still have your even number. In this case, you have two electrons. That's an even number. So 
I think we're good. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard. And I'll be rooting for you on your next test or quiz. If you wouldn't mind, please hit the subscribe button as this how the, you know, YouTube pushes out the channel to all over the world. We've been getting so many kind comments coming back to us from all over uh, saying how much this channel has helped them. And that's the goal of the channel. So with your support, we'll be able to spread out more uh, and help more students. All right. So thank you so much for your support. Thanks for being part of this community. And I hope to be talking to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.